I started Jewel Trends uh, in 2018. The whole process began from, you know, childhood. I started buying my clothes at a very, very young age, where I would go pick out, they would give me my money, I would go pick out my own outfit. So, you know, with time, with time, subconsciously, you know, you develop this snack for fashion and all that. And I always liked looking good. My mom was like always my mentor when she came to dressing. She always told me, you gotta always be at your best behavior. You always have to look good to create that impression. So it took GL Trends not so long a time, I could say less than a year to see a level of success because uh, I built already a social capital. So when I officially began the business, I just hit everybody who I had on my list before was buying from me and you know they kept buying so I think the success already had begun before even the business really kicked off until maybe COVID uh, came in and you know it disorganized everything but still we kept going uh, we need we had to find better ways of doing businesses better strategies marketing you know strategies and all that so we before we we're not online and we had to go online which was also a good opportunity because we saw some level of success in the business but just like every other successful business there are also still downfalls but you know we keep going we keep going we never give up we don't quit I wouldn't say that trends are changing lately. You know, the technology is advancing at breakneck speed. You have to keep up. And uh, that fashion, now that fashion is online and all over the media and everywhere, I think it's not about what is trending. It's about what makes you really comfortable, I think, and what makes you look beautiful, resplendent. The confidence the attire gives you, for instance, like uh, in Uganda and Africa in general, uh, we we do not really have like seasons. The season is hot and cold at the same time. It's not like you have winter, you have spring, you have summer, and you know all that. And you, for the Europeans, they attach all those to trends. For instance, you see there'll be a summer sale where there's like a trending. Uh, kind of shirt, short light because of the heat. Then you have a winter where you maybe need to put on something heavy. But in Africa here, the weather is constant. It's hot or cold. One, the Jewel Trends hoodie. This is the hoodie, as you can see, resplendent and all that. We add this African part and uh, my label, you know, to add a little bit of beauty and all that. So for cold, we got you. Peace. What else do you need to travel apart from using a Jewel Trends duffel bag? This bag is just going to make you look resplendent on your journey. There's a lot of travel going on. So you need a Jewel Trends backpack. We have it uh, in a, a bigger size and then we got it also in a uh, a medium small size as you can see beautiful as it looks drip so hard on your travel you can talk about trends minus the vintage collection well the reason why we do these vintage collections is one most important aspect is the breathability because it's made of very light organic cotton so it is breathable during the hot season so it's going to keep you cool during the heat and it's going to keep you cozy during the cold and you can see we have it in other prints like this whoa so beautiful awesome stuff oh my god so we have it in um uh, about uh 15 different uh, fabric colors and patterns so you should be able to find any of your choice that suits your standard but everything about gel trends is gonna make you drip so hard <laughs>